Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of K-Talk. I'm Randy. And I'm Adriana. And today we are going to talk about a movie that is on Netflix called Space Sweepers. Recently released. Yes, it was supposed to be released in theaters in the year that shall not be named. Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) So they kept pushing back the release and pushing back the release and finally um, it came to Netflix February 12th, 5th, 5th, February 12th, 5th, yeah. yes, yeah. sorry. It was earlier in February. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just put it that yeah. way. <laughs> um, this, it was kind of a different kind of film uh, that I've ever watched before as far as Korean content mm-hmm. because it's a science fiction action movie yes. um, starring uh, Song Joong Ki, uh, one of my favorite actors. Mm-hmm. He's a cutie pie. Yes. <laughs> But he's also a great actor. Let's let's not forget that. He's a great actor. Yeah. So this movie is set in the year 2092 after a sort of like catastrophic environmental things have happened. So the earth is basically unlivable yes. and they've created this sort of um, floating society in space where only a select few are allowed to go. That part reminded me of Elysium with Matt Damon because that was like the same kind of concept. There's a few things in this movie that reminded me of a couple of other movies. Like they just kind of mixed in some of those um, some of those things from other movies because I also got like the Fifth Element vibe from it Mm. and just you know this but like you said this is very different for Korean content even for their cinematic content um, because you know most of us are familiar with the whole K-drama um TV production, but Korean cinema has been making inroads into uh, mainstream American, you know, culture as well. Um, especially with last year's win of Parasite, you know, they they got onto uh, the Academy Award stage, and and that was that was unprecedented. I did, I honestly, to the last second, I was like, they're not going to give it to them. And when they announced that name, I was so shocked, but Ooh. I was so happy at the same time. But this movie is very different even for for just the way Koreans make film. And um, it was really well done. I, the, the production value in this, they didn't they didn't skimp on it. Like the, all the special effects were re- done really well. Yes. I really enjoyed it. The story was done really well. Um, you know, this is, uh, we, we both talked about this. We were, you know, making sure that the content was um, appropriate for teenagers. And though there is some language stuff that, you know, you definitely want to let your parents know that you're watching this movie. Um, it isn't strong. There's some violence here and there because it is an action movie, um, you know, but it, it, it really is a great story. Story um, that centers around a little girl and um, everything that's happening. And, you know, there's the evil guy in the background who was really, he's played by one of my favorite Richard English Armitage. Actors. Yes, he is yeah. so fantastic. Yes. And I was so surprised when I saw him on screen. I was like, am I watching the right movie? Mm-hmm. Like when this movie started, I was like, this is, it just blew my mind. It just, the level of like, I'm not sure we even told you what it is. It's called Space Sweepers. Did we, we did. say? We did. Okay. We did. That's good. It's called Space Sweepers. <laughs> <laughs> we did say the name in the beginning. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to cut that out. <laughs> but yeah, when he came out, I was so surprised. I was like, I didn't even know he was in the movie until he came out. And I was really shocked. But I mean, you can't go wrong with this film. It is really great. I really enjoyed it. How about you? Yeah. Um, well, Honestly, I didn't know too much about it before I started watching it, other than it was science fiction and it had Song Joon Ki in it. So they already had me at that point. Yeah. Um, and I love science fiction in general. So um, I was excited to see a Korean film come out in this genre. Um, it was fun. It involves these group of uh, a group of Koreans who are on this ship and they they clean they're cleaning up space. So they're getting rid of all this space junk Mm -hmm. to help sort of this floating society up in, in, in space, also to earn money and also to sort of get out of debt. Yes. And, um, then all of a sudden they throw this element in of, there's this android Mm -hmm. that is wanted because she can explode. She's a bomb. And... 
they end up rescuing her. They and, accidentally pick her up. Yes. On, uh, uh, on their ship. And yeah. now they're like, now what do we do? And I mean, there's so the great thing is that there's this great balance of action, drama, and comedy. Mm. Because, you know, when they're first introduced to this girl and they realize who she is... Um, and that she's wanted and everyone oh, is it looking hilarious. for her. Yeah, it, yeah, well, it was yeah, hilarious. Everyone is looking for her, but then it's also like, oh no, will she explode? Oh no, what do we do? Are we going to be arrested? Oh no, how can we get money off yeah. of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there, there's so many different themes that play out in this movie. And, um, you know, I don't want to spoil everything for you guys. We, we hope that you, you will give this movie a shot. But... Um, one of the major things that I think was so well done in this movie is the diversity. Yes. Because this cast is so diverse. There's French, there's Chinese, there's Korean, there's American, there's English. Almost every race and ethnicity is kind of representative in this film. And you've got all the languages as well. So when people talk about, oh, you know, diversity and casting and this and that, this is the film that I would say did it right because they didn't skimp on like you know all, they didn't like go completely american they didn't just go completely korean well, there the, was so many yeah, different people because because it obviously what the environmental thing that affect it affected the whole entire planet yes. and so so did elysium and elysium is still a predominantly white is it movie. really yes i i was really pleased to see that you know the, all of there's a, a bunch of different space sweepers, you know, yeah. working in space, and you know, like you said, there are different ethnicities and there are different languages coming everywhere. The the great thing in the movie is everybody they all wear this like translator, translator. Yeah. so they're speaking their own language. They don't have to speak English, and everybody is just can understand um, what they're saying. And obviously, let me just say. I can't wait till that actually happens. <laughs> It'll make life so much easier. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that was really cool, the the invention of that. And I was like, hmm, is that a Samsung product? Maybe. <laughs> well, Maybe it's coming, like, soon. I know. I mean, there is stuff out there on the market already. Like, you know, you have Google Translate and stuff that does the conversation modes. And they've... Um, I know Google has played around with earpieces and, and glasses that have like earpieces mm -hmm. that for translation. Um, and there's a couple other products that I've seen out there on the market where they want to do um, kind of live translation, um, but nothing viable yet. So, you know, it, it is the future. I'm sure at some point we'll have that and it'll be much better than one of my other favorite science fiction movies, which is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, because I don't want to put a slug in my ear. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, as far as science fiction goes, this is really well done. I am also a big science fiction fan. I love I'm I, I'm into action science fiction movies all the time and even though I'm always kind of criticizing the science behind all of this stuff, um, this one wasn't so bad that I would say the science was really bad. Like, it's all plausible, you know? So I bought well, into the movie. It's Plus, always you like, know, what if? What yeah. if? Plus, you know, you know as, long, as long as Song Jiki is in it, I, I don't care. <laughs> I, was I was entertained. Like yeah. you had said, it, it was comedic, it was dramatic. It was touching at times. Yes. It, it was scary at times. Yes. So I would, if someone asked me for a recommendation for a science fiction film, I would recommend this. Yeah, I was really happy and really pleasantly surprised with this film. I'd been waiting for so long since I heard of the production of this movie. I'd been waiting for it to come out in theaters, but then the year that shall not be named happened. <laughs> and we waited an entire year. And even though I hope that once uh, theaters open up, some of these movies that have just been um yeah, put on streaming nice. shows it would be nice to see it on a platforms. big, yeah. big would, screen yeah I would love to see this on big screen with huge surround sound where you hear that rumble in your chest yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah definitely give this movie a shot there's a lot there to see I've seen it twice already because uh, I was like just once just for fun. me <laughs> just once for me <laughs> 
I had to see it at least two times. Because you never know what you're going to miss, especially with a film like this. There's always little things that you kind of see the second time around that you missed, you know, because you were busy reading the subtitles and, and stuff, you know. Because um, that's one thing, you know, uh, if you're... Uh, if you're not very great with subtitles, you may want to watch this a second time. I can see that. Yeah. But that's our recommendation for you guys. I think that it's a great film. Uh, definitely give it a shot. It's going to be fun. I love the robot. The robot was my favorite. On he me. was hilarious. Hmm? On me. On me. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, yeah. the girl and yeah. the boy. Yeah. And, you know, we try not to give you too no. many spoilers. No but spoilers. <laughs> but yeah, definitely give this movie a shot, especially since it's on Netflix. It's very accessible um, and it is definitely worth a watch. So we're going to wrap it up with that. I hope that you enjoyed uh, hearing us fangirl over everything again <laughs> <laughs> but we will see you next time with more kate talk content bye bye everybody